Oh my god, why is my ear ringing? Son of a What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have our Mar uh, March. We have our May Mr. Tackle Box Pro unboxing. This is the last Pro Box that I have. Uh, the six month subscription that I had starting in December was a gift, a uh, Christmas gift. You guys seem to really like these unboxings. So what I'm probably gonna do, and this will obviously dictate or be dictated by what the comments say. Um, so definitely let me know what you want, but I'm thinking about ordering um, another set of standard boxes for the summer like I have for the last couple summers. But today we also, because this box is here, we also have the, uh, I'm gonna be announcing the giveaway winners for the last couple of mystery tackle boxes, uh, or at least the compiled winners. That'll be at the end. So if you're here just for the giveaway, I don't want you to watch through this whole video if you're not really interested. Skip to the timestamp, I'll put it here, or like down here or something, I'll put it somewhere. But either way, we're gonna get into this right now, and we're gonna unbox these baits. First lure on here is the Bagley Spinner Shad, or Spinner Shad. So this is an MTB exclusive. I'm guessing it's just a, uh, like a propeller type bait. It's got the propeller on the back half uh, by the second treble hook. I mean, it's obviously, looking at it, it's all clearly not the same uh, type of bait, but similar action to a, a whopper plopper. It lifts the water up with that propeller motion uh, and causes a commotion of a dying, of a dying bait fish. Uh, so I'm, I mean, anyone who's been at this channel for a significant amount of time knows I'm a huge into top waters. Uh, so that it's still a little early for top waters, I think, but I'll never complain about a top water bait. Next we've got the Strike Pro Swing Pop. Is this another top water? It's got like a, a, a jitterbug lip on the front. I've got to look into that. I don't want to sound like a dummy, but it literally has a, the lip of a jitterbug on the front and like the body of a jerk bait almost. The May is definitely still early for top for the top water bite, but we are kicking off uh, as far as fishing goes. It's been picking up for sure, as you guys hopefully will be seeing soon with these uh, videos that I've got coming out here in the next week. All right, next we've got the lifted jigs next football jig. So we got a three eighths ounce. Looks like a almost like a PB and J color, except the jelly is like a lot. It's a darker, deeper purple. This is a thick jig. Definitely made, I'm guessing, for pretty heavy cover. You've got almost like the standard skirt here on the bottom. It's gonna be hard to see, but then on top, there's like almost another whole set of skirt coming out from the front. Let me see if I can get the skirt out of the way to show you guys. You've got the um, creature bait. Oh, it, it, I mean, it, the the thing, the thing, the, you know the thing. But, and it, essentially it'll be completely weedless. Next, we've got the Either Buddha or Buddha bait. I think it's Buddha. Buddha baits swagger worm. A lot of these baits are. I don't. I literally don't think so far I've seen a brand that I recognize. Bagley, Strike Pro, Lifted Jigs, and Buddha. It's almost like uh, these are all very new brands to me. <gasps> Hi little Bella. Bella wants to see what's with the worms. You want to come on? Come on, ready? Oh. You want to sit with me? Mm. And like the packaging, like, I, and I certainly mean no offense to Buddha Bates, especially, but it looks like a, like a small company made this. Like it looks, so it, it, like I say, these brands are nothing I've ever heard of. They look, it look, this looks like uh, like a small company. So I'm, I wonder if this is kind of Mystery Tackle Box kind of giving smaller companies kind of a, kind of representing them a little bit with these Mystery into in these mystery tackle boxes. Really interesting design. It really thins out here toward the end and then you've got this really thick paddle tail, which, or not paddle, I guess it's a paddle tail or a curly tail almost. Uh, I, I, don't, I never really fished curly tails, but I bet this would look really cool on a Texas rig. So next we've got Riot Bait's Tantrum. I, I haven't had a ton of experience with Riot Bait. It is one I recognize and I've used before and the experience that I have had with Riot Baits, I really like. And so this is a, like a really small, uh, craw presentation i would assume it's probably used as a trailer on jigs just because you don't need that huge body if you're gonna use it on the back of as a trailer i really like the idea of having this smaller presentation on a jig i look at people using these jigs down in like texas and stuff and they are their hook will be way up here and then they have like a solid two or three inches off the back of their creature bait it just makes the profile look huge which i don't really like i like having the smaller profile which i which is why i think i'll really like this on the back of these jigs I want to say it's just a green pumpkin, but there's like these small, really small, like green flecks in there too. So I don't know if I don't, I, I'm, I'm hesitant to just call it a green pumpkin, but I don't know. But regardless, I do know Riot Baits and I really like their stuff. So I'm really looking forward to trying that. Next, we've got the X-Zone Lures Pro Series Adrenaline Bug. Another brand I've never heard of. I don't even know what an X-Zone is. Floating Claws. Oh, I actually really like that. 
So these are definitely like a bigger creature bait style, almost reminiscent of like a like a bandito bug. I think we've got the black and blue flake, which I'm a fan of as we get later into the summer. So the body definitely is reminiscent of a bandito bug, but obviously you get down here and it looks nothing like it. Uh, I don't. I'm not a huge fan of the little appendages, but if they are floating, uh, that w I actually really will like that. I'll give it a really cool presentation right on bottom. And I think last we've just got some stickies offset worm hooks, which definitely were meant to we got a size three odd and that's obviously i'm assuming meant to go with the uh the buddha the buddha baits swagger worm so that doesn't look too bad either uh the hook is a little small i mean the hook bar was way up here on the bait so i mean if you this is a big worm so if you get a bass kind of just grabbing at the back of this they got to get pretty far up they pretty much have to ch inhale this bait uh to get at that hook so if i was using this i probably would this uh worm i probably would be using maybe a four out uh four out ewg hook uh, just to make sure you get that little bit of extra distance farther down the bait. I mean, it might not be that much, but just enough where those bass really get in and you grab the hook as opposed to just grabbing down here. But overall, we've got an interesting box. Is it my favorite out of the six? 100% no. But what this box definitely is, is out of my comfort zone. These are baits I've never heard of, brands I've never heard of, stuff I don't use that often. Um, which I think is going to lend itself really well to a, a slam, which I have full intention of doing with this box. Let's move on from this. We've all seen the baits. Let's go and do that giveaway. So basically, I just have my laptop up, um, and you guys can see my screen. Basically, we've got my giveaway video up. I just wanted to remind myself and you guys as to which winner was which. So winner number one. Oh, hello. Winner number one is going to get the deep thud crankbait. Excite baits, vertical baits, flipping jig, the hard hat uh, jig, flipping jig, and the impulse right. senkos right there, as you can see. And winner number two is going to get the Carl's deep diving crank, the Walker hunt frog, the big bite baits, the ten thousand fish. Um, what is that called? That thing there on the bottom left? I don't know. Uh, Death stalker, that one. And they're going to get the ten thousand fish sawcraw. So basically, what I did, as you can see, I went through the comments, newest first, and I wrote everybody's name down in order. And if I did it, if I got you, I liked it. As you can see, Leo Schumann was the last person to enter four days ago. Uh, so I've got everybody listed on this page's document in order. If you were, if you had a referral, then you've got that extra entry. So we had a total of 57 entries with those referrals. And I think only like two or three people did those. So basically how I'm gonna do these is I'm gonna just have Google pick two random numbers between one and 57 and those two people are gonna win. All right, so I'm just gonna hit generate, and this person, I'll go through the list on the pages document, is gonna be the winner of box number one. So winner number one is whoever number 37 was. Let's check that. 37 is August Vanderweist. All right, so this is it right here, August Vanderweist. You're, I'm hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry about that. You're number winner number one. Congratulations, you're the winner number one. Uh, so I will get in contact with you Instagram tonight. I've, this video goes up and I'll get your information and send that out to you. All right, winner number two is gonna be, actually I'm gonna look away from this one, I'll look right at you guys. Three, two, one, click. 16, all right, number 16 is Marcos Ramirez. So congrats, Marcos, you're winner number two, but both of you guys gave me your Instagram handles, so I'm gonna get this uploaded as soon as I can. Uh, and then once the video goes up, I'll message you guys on Instagram to get personal information. But either way, congrats to both of you guys. And I'll send those bites out as soon as I get in contact with you guys. And that is going to do it for the video today. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Like I said, that perch run is over now, uh, as far as I know. But I got a lot of really good footage out of it. I think the first video for the perch run, or at least me fishing uh, under the assumption of the perch run, I went up fit to fish the perch run. Uh, the first video for that will go up this weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. I think probably Saturday if I can uh, swing it, which uh, I'm assuming I can. Hopefully I'll be able to do a slam on this box. And let me know in the comments if you want to see more unboxings. That, Like I said, that was my last pro box for the subscription service that I got. I got a six-month subscription. Uh, but if you want to see more, I can order some more standard boxes or whatever for the summer like I have for the last couple summers. Uh, so let me know in the comments. That was a long-winded way of saying let me know if you want to see more unboxings. But either way, I'll see you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.